Hey there guys, I'm Dings564 and this is continuation of our let's play of... Oh, there's control of uh, Encased and... Uh, yeah, there's some duty here walking about in the servo shell or servo or whatever thing. Power armor. What is that? High capacity power cell. Oh, okay. Armor power cell. Uh, I mean, we'll take everything, I guess. Oh, I'm slightly encumbered, huh? Is that high capacity? Um, what is it for? Is it just to like upgrade something? Probably, yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's actually quite expensive as well. It weighs a lot, but it is expensive. What I do not need though. Any of that heavy? No, this is all pretty light. We need something that weighs. I don't know. Oh, that's quite a lot. Um, split, like, in half, probably. How about we drop this? Yeah, good enough. Control terminal. Well, I'm in a s red lines are flashing on the screen. Emergency pro protocol isolation mode. Tourists are active, the doors are locked, connection with Concord station is disabled. Please select an option from the menu below. Uplink to reestablish connection with Concord. Okay. Connection with the Concord station has been restored. Enter command. Do we want to unlock? Sure, let's unlock. What could possibly go wrong with that, huh? Yeah, and this dude will have to fight him. I mean, we probably can't do it. But it probably will be relatively difficult. Okay. Let's save right before we do that. Open. It's not even that hard, it doesn't look like. What's he... A chemical energy resistance. Energy resistance relatively low, heat resistance low. Okay, should we just... It said heat resistance low, so let's burn him a little bit. And then shoot him. Oh fuck, it's jammed. Unjam... Mm. Oh, there's another dude. What the hell? Uh, I didn't see that coming. Um, well, we'll have to unjam that. Good thing I have healed myself. So, I need to probably stun at least one of them. Probably stun this guy. Oh, really? I need to reload? I will not kill this guy this turn anyway, so I might as well just stun this guy. And then just move, like... Over to here. Oh! So this guy cannot see me now, and I can finish... Wait, wasn't he stunned? Is he trying to... Yeah, he's trying to fatigue me, this guy, huh? Uh, I should probably burn him. What's his deal? Energy resistance is pretty high, heat resistance is pretty low. I wonder... How much damage will this do? Not a lot.
Hmm. Yeah, this does more damage. So, you know what? Let's try to, like, deal with him as fast as possible here. And increase my defense class a little bit. Okay, let's try to take him out and burn her. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I think I should be fine here. I need to reload. God damn it. Uh, defense class. Okay. That's good. Didn't hit anything. Let's just finish her off. Nice. Can I scan any of them? No, apparently not. Uh, I will be quite encumbered here. Well, I think most of the stuff is done, right? Red force, okay. And the other one? No. Oh, intense fatigue, yeah. Um, I will probably need to do something about that. Public terminal mainframe. Not kit. I wonder if... Uh, oh, quite quite nice. That's actually exactly what we need right now. Uh, what what can we do on the mainframe, I wonder? Probably can get some information, maybe? Terminal doesn't contain any useful data. Uh, can I maybe, like... Nope. Okay. Well, let's use the terminal then. The white noise on the screen is replaced with pulsating blackness and a remote echoing beep. Connection established. In a few seconds, Kingsley's face appears on the screen. The silver adjusts his glasses. Come in. C12 Nashville. Kingsley speak. Oh, that's you. Good to see you. Kingsley clicks his retractable pen and shifts closer to the camera. Report. Um, dead bodies at the entryway and people gone mad. The chief officer listens to the casualty report without interrupting. He's visibly shaken. Once you finish speaking, Kingsley gets lost in thought, biting the end of his pen. If there's anything else I need to know, you may add it to your report. He finally starts speaking, his voice soft and emotionless. Um, Nashville is in the middle of anomalous zone and a strange maelstrom is reaching above the base. Kingsley seems to perk up a little when he hears of the maelstrom. Did you examine it? Was it moving? Okay, the situation isn't clear yet, but some Anything something else? gravely serious must be ha must happen. You describe recent events. Martin convulsively jots everything down in his notepad. The silver wipes his forehead with a silk handkerchief, fidgeting. Good grief. Is there anything else? Director Not yet. Kingsley flips a page in his notepad, nervously tapping his pen on the desk. Duly noted. Well, then, the news is unsettling. But what about the crew? Have you found them? Uh, if well... It's not an issue. Could you update me on each member of your group? The Orange uh, is currently trying to escape the base. The director sighs angrily. When the investigation is underway, I'm certain they'll ask me why I deployed someone like that for the task. Roland, uh, the White is fine and is now helping you to invest with this investigation. Something down. I don't doubt for a second that Ronald is doing exactly that. Man's a true professional. Uh, Robert Mayland is missing. The jots something down. Do you know why exactly he left the group unescorted? That's in violation of the rules. And this one, Marie is dead. Kingsley presses his palms against his temples. I beg you, don't put yourself at risk unless the situation absolutely well, calls. Well, she's technically still alive. The makes a note in the documents. Thank heavens. Once your report is over, Director Kingsley becomes lost in thought. 
First of all, I need to apologize. On behalf of the corporation and myself. Forgive me. I shouldn't have sent a new employee on this task. Is Martin wipes his glasses with a red handkerchief. Your report seems to suggest we're facing something incredibly dangerous. I always tend to follow my instructions to the letter. In this case, the instructions say you should stay where you are and wait for rescue. But sadly, I know what we're dealing with. Kingsley puts his glasses on and looks at the screen. I'm sorry I couldn't give all the details. Nashville is a high security facility. But I guess that's not important anymore. A certain relic resulted in what you are witnessing right now. In the last couple of days, we've been receiving reports of staff suffering a rapidly deteriorating mental state. And now everything's culminated in this. The silver sighs raggedly. <sighs> Take action. Go down to the excavation area and find this relic. Bury it. Disarm it. Destroy it. Do whatever you think appropriate. I'll send a rescue team right after we're done here. But regardless, act. Do not hesitate. And good luck to you. Well, the broadcast good luck to me. The screen is filled with black and white ripples. Okay then. Um, probably should go ahead and heal myself on that machine again after that fight, and then we can go back and do that thing. Oh yeah, because I I am very fatigued and I need to like. Everything here is open. I'm probably pretty sure like on the second floor everything will be open as well. So that is good, I guess. Uh, residential area. Let's go heal up. I think it might heal fatigue. I'm not sure. We might have to like do something else here as well. Come on. Where are the uh, cure all conditions? Restore health. Hmm. So I, I do have to like rest probably somewhere, huh? Reduce fatigue. Yeah, you know, all these rooms are now. Hmm. Is there like a bed somewhere? Do, how do I re restore fatigue? Can I sleep? Probably not here. Not the best idea. I don't know, what if I'll, if I'll sit, can I... Oh, I cannot... There is this dude right over here. I wonder if something recovers fatigue. Okay, what is that? Um, nope. Disinfectant. Nope. Oh, this one. Okay. I think this one is better used for like in combat or something. Um. Let's put this over here. If I can actually uh, rest in the cot, I better tr should do that. How long will I need to rest? I don't know. I guess till noon. Uh, sorry. And I leveled up? What for? Okay, now. Then, uh, what do we want? Science to 90? Damage deal. Okay, that's an active ability, right? Yeah. Personal reputation plus 20.
Proof scanning, okay. Okay, so cool. Let's get that to okay, it's eighty seven now. I think we need to do that, yep. And then uh don't wanna go criminal and so I can actually pick locks maybe. I think so, yes. Oh, and I need tech as well, huh? Uh, that's exactly uh, just as much as we need, huh? Cool. So I can lockpick now. I can... My movement speed's increased. Uh, uh, okay, improved gambling. Um, okay, cool. Provides access to... Uh, I can probably attempt to pickpocket. Cool. Let's go back down then. I'm still encumbered, huh? By how much? By a little bit. What is that, by the way? I need to probably, like, use this more often. Like, this is really not convenient. I'm picking pickpocket in him. Um, okay. Put that one over here. That one over here. Okay, and on the third one, we'll put, like, what is this? This throwing thing. Throwing weapons, huh? Some sort of, a, what is it? What does it do? Miss Holgram designed to sort of... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, then what else do we have here somewhere? What does this do? Robot charging ability is reduced for use. With this device, you can transfer additional energy to the RoboKit series robots. This will significantly improve their mobility, computing capability, and sensory... Okay. Let's put it here for now. Uh, let's just drop this canister. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy. And after that, we should probably get down to the business. Uh, good day. Are you ready? I, I took reading. The background radiation is increasing. I'll, I'll bit slow. Let's hurry up. I hope to see you again soon. Well, let's go then. Okay, and down we go. The White Wing employee Mallory is in high spirits. Not only have we been extracting an unusual number of rare relics, some examples of which are completely un... Uh, unpre unprecedented but a mysterious red glow has been discovered shining through the rock in the northwestern excavation sector I believe we're on the verge of monumental discovery okay then who this uh, I guess he came from up over there Okay, um, I, I just want to take a good look at, at this 
because I feel like something will happen here. There's this terminal, scientific zone circuit terminal. I guess we need to talk to him first, right? Uh, before we do anything. Because uh, I don't want to turn on something that I shouldn't turn on. Let's go talk to him first. There are a lot of people here. Any documents for this servo shell? Howdy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this isn't the relic? I thought this was the relic. Um... Uh. You ask him if he's going to help you find the relic. You'd like me to drag her all around the excavation area? Here's what we'll do. Once you locate the relic, just take a quick look at it and call me right away. Where to search for the relic? The wave pattern has evened out, meaning there are almost no natural obstacles between us and the radiation source. Go ahead and search for it, we're close. Anything I should know about the relic? White hesitates before replying. Nothing. Save uh, for the th strange report I saw in the computer room. It was uh, compiled by a physiologist from Nashville who observed the halo eye symptoms in himself. He's looking at you. The report's author states that he, uh, they found something active in the ca in this cave. The relic communicated with him and kept talking until the medic completely lost his uh, marbles. Don't take this hallucination at, f at face value. That's just something for you to keep in mind. How's Louis doing? Louis and focused gaze uh, li listlessly tr uh, tries to follow the yellow light. I'm no doctor, but I think she's getting worse. Have a good one. Okay. So I'm assuming this will, uh, will activate once we... Um... Okay, can we... Um... Can we not scan? Why why is it says tool required even though I do have a tool? Yeah. How about we unequip it? Can we can I maybe I cannot do it on server shell? Nope. That's weird. Hmm. Okay then, off we go. At least they don't seem uh, like they're aggressive at the moment. And there is a relic, okay. Uh, off we go. Let's, let's see what we can see here at first though. Armored door. Broken terminal, TV set, office cabinet. It's on the other side, okay. Some medical notes. Oh, that there's what we need. Oh come on, really? It's empty. Rolkos immediately began to complain of headaches, carbon monoxide. Uh, I've prescribed painkillers, gonna keep an eye on them. More of the same complaints. Some patients are drooling and report auditory hallucination. Microstrokes, lack of sleep, further. Uh, microstrokes, lack of sleep, further observation needed. A couple of patients show obsessive behavior, focusing on uh, repetitive, action, repetitive actions, as in obs obsessive compulsive disorder. Encephalo encephalitis, examination revealed ab abnormal changes in the iris. Patients are becoming more aggressive one of an attack my nurse nurse now all patients have been isolated and uh, antipsychotics colopazine prescribed to most violent ones management finally decided to shorten work shifts uh, next patients are gradually calming down but remaining remain dis uh, disconnected from reality speech is incoherent their condition resembles catatonia symptoms are now appealing appearing in people not directly exposed to the excavation site. I intend to demand the quarantine from management. Okay then. Oh, there's a locker here. Oh, 
Really? Nothing in here? Surely there's something here. Like I need medicine. I need I need stuff. Come on. What do we have here? Briefcase looks like briefcases. Lo uh, locks were hastily, clumsily busted. There are no relics. Some briefcases are untouched. Looks like the robbers simply didn't have enough time to finish the job. Can I unlock it? Hmm. But with that, I can actually unlock it. Yes. Cool. What is that? Attack weapon. Penetrators. I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but it's another type of weapon. And relic shards. Okay. Uh, probably, can we drop one of this? Or... What we do not need. Let's drop this stuff. Oh, we're still encumbered, huh? Well, I mean, we have two shovels. How many shovels do we need, realistically? Hmm. Torpedo elect electrokinetic side glove. Well, it's better than mine. Sonic weapons manual. Relic dust. Okay, we'll take it. I wonder if it's... Crit mod. Of places with target, okay. Maybe useful. Can um, can I upgrade it? I need another one of those. Yeah, so not not really not now at least. Well, I guess we'll take that a little bit of earth. Some money. Hmm. That's all there is, it looks like. Power circuit terminal 2. I wonder if I'll need to engage them or something. I'll probably look on the other side as well before we go. What's in the boxes? Well, unlock it then. Okay, uh... Bullets? Sure, let's take it. And we're slightly encumbered again. Hmm. Uh, sure, let's, let's use this. And let's take it. Why not? A little bit fatigued. I wonder if it like turned... We'll probably need to turn them on eventually, right? Right? Let's go here, let's see what's inside those stuff. And here, like, yeah, it looks like there's another one of those that we need to turn on or something. I don't know. Because we might need stuff. Okay, is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Couple of lockers over here. Oh, this is part of Terminal 3. Where's one then? Oh, there's one. Lighting control panel. Okay, there's three. Okay. Lockers, anything in them? Nope. Uh, a little bit of something. 
Okay, take all of that. There are some boxes over here. I think we'll like turn on the lighting light. Uh, I think that probably is a good idea. I don't know. Might not be. Okay. We really need to. Okay, turn this on. Enabling lighting in the excavation zone. Warning. Damage to power system detected. Start the emergency generator. Um, probably did. It's, it's probably she means this, right? Because I don't see any emergency. Okay, let's go. Or may this be emergency generator? Mobile generator, huh? Okay, let's use that. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's not good, isn't it? Yep, I'm getting damaged. There's mobile generators over there as well. Oh shit, I'm getting damaged a lot. Uh, shit. That's a lot of damage. Wow. Didn't see this coming. How did I... How did I die there? It's probably from that relic, right? Is it from that relic? Do I need to just run straight towards it? <laughs> what do I do? I mean, I don't know. Let's, let's turn on the mobile generator. Yeah, and we're starting to lose health. And run straight towards the relic, I guess. Losing health fast. Nope. I guess we should just run straight forward, huh? Because we'll have enough time to get straight towards it, I think, if we're not going for the generator. I'm not sure if we need to go to the generator, though, because we actually might need to. Go straight for the relic. Go right over here. Consumed by darkness. Okay, go use. This amber orange ball hovering above the scientific equipment connected to it seems to be the reason for what happened in Nashville. You can feel the waves of anomalous radiation emanating from it with your whole body. A pleasant tingling rolls through your skin and each wave fills your head for a mere moment with strange, rapidly fading images. Without taking your eyes off the sphere, you move closer. Uh, well, I guess we should scan the relic first. You aim your scanner at the artifact's glowing surface, but the device will not function. Only a sine curve is quivering spasmodically on the monochrome screen. You suddenly begin to feel numb. The prickling in your hands and the anomalous radiation pressing against your head grow weaker, but a frightening sensation rises in their stead. An unknown force detaches you from your body and takes you up into the cool, ringing silence. The maelstrom hanging above Nashville embraces you. All of your consciousness unfolds like a giant canvas hurling you into a dark auditorium. You see the maelstrom swirling over Nashville. Pulling you from the crumbling walls of the base, it lifts your mind above the world. It covers the lands of the dome like a gigantic spot, in the swirling shadow of which the lights of human consciousness flicker. Some of them fade away, 
barely in contact with the maelstrom. Others grow dimmer and blink painfully. Some glow with a strange, cold light. Gaining strength, the maelstrom, rushing westward, comes crashing down onto the southern lands of the dome, leaving behind hundreds of fluttering and slowly fading lights. After sweeping out Concord and Spire Station, the maelstrom finally calms down. It hangs in the very center of the dome, like a majestic, lazily swirling vortex, and your mind rushes about within it like a shining spark. Uh, I, I don't want that. Can we? It takes you some time to realize that you're wandering. Can we load? Eventually, the dull. I, what if I'll press uh, stabilize it? Because I thought that we can actually come back, and you know, after I scanned it, I can use my science. And since I have science, might as well stabilize it, right? Let's see if it works. Because I'm not entirely sure I like that. Let's do this. Yeah, we know we can we can make there in time so use the relic go 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 this amber it's connected equipment ball. to stabilize the relic state bend toward the equipment it's possible the slight electric current being emitted somehow stimulates the artifacts activity so you decrease the voltage the cooling system is working one half throttle so you bring it up to 85 percent these measures should reduce the anomalous radiation intensity. At least, that's what you're hoping for. You suddenly begin to feel numb. The prickling in your hands and the anomalous radiation pressing mm. against... Okay, it didn't work. It covers the land gaining strength. The maelstrom. Okay, then. Gabriel, my colleague and a longtime friend, calls it the Halo Eye phenomenon. He... Convinced that this iris pattern, which appears in all the irradiated subjects, is more than change in pigmentation. This is a symptom, and I assure you, it, it is in no way connected with the mental space phenomenon, a kind of zone of consciousness where people's minds are able to freely meet and connect. What? Yes, mental space phenomenon is my term. From Curtis speech may 1977 is it from the future it takes you some time to realize that you're wandering through a fog eventually the dull white nothingness begins to dissipate slowly returning you to reality a noise fills your ears a rumble resembling the sound of waves rolling ashore you step carefully through the white haze Fragile bits of rock crackle under your feet. Vague shadows appear from the mist over your head. Breached concrete plate bristling with exposed armature. The dusty drill of an earth mover lying on its side. Yellowed documents, boxes. Crushed steel closets that tumbled down through gaps in the floor. The space beneath your feet resembles thick but perfectly transparent ice. A vortex of clouds spins slowly below, the lights still flickering. They're the same lights you saw when you first touched the sphere. The lights are actively moving, wandering, gathering. Iridescent, they form both small and large groups, and the desert far below changes following their pattern. Settlements appear in the north, in the east, in the west, and even in the dull yellow barrens of the south. They grow right before your eyes, as if time were moving ahead at incredible speed. Hmm. Who are you? Uh, I think I'll actually make a cut here and we'll continue in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.